On May 26th, 2023, we celebrated the graduation of many local homeschool students in the Jeffersonville area at Stillwater's Camp Welcome Center, where Brother Jeremy Evans was the master of ceremonies. He enthusiastically welcomed the families by saying, this is a place where we don't celebrate so much a great education, but we do a great revelation. It's a place we don't so much acknowledge what the teacher writes on the blackboard, but we acknowledge things like what God writes on the back wall of the Branham Tabernacle. A place where pop quizzes are insignificant compared to tape quizzes. A place where caps and gowns are secondary to robes and crowns. We then heard a special testimony from Brother Billy Paul Branham. And after the graduation ceremony, we had refreshments and a wonderful time fellowshipping with one another. Thank you, Brother Joseph. Now, when God sent the minor prophet Malachi, he foretold that the great Elijah prophet would come in the last days. In the book of Jeremiah, the first chapter and the fifth verse, Before I formed thee in the belly, I knew thee. And before thou camest forth out of the womb, I sanctified thee. And I ordained thee a prophet unto the nations. And later God said in the ninth and tenth verses, Behold, I put my words in his mouth. See, I have this day set thee over the nations and over the kingdoms to root out and to pull down and to destroy and throw down to build and to plant. Today, God put words in the mouth of his prophet, Brother Joseph Branham. He penned it on paper and has sent it to the nations. Dear worthy righteous ones, Eagles, are you ready to gather this Sunday to hear the sweet voice of Jesus speak to you and say, You are worthy. You are mine. You are righteous. You shall walk with me in white. Your names are written in heaven. These are not my words, but they are the very words of our Father in heaven speaking to you. His chosen bride, the Holy Spirit, has once again come and lived in human flesh so he could speak lip to ear to his elected lady these wonderful words. It's wonderful to hear them from me or anyone who would say, Jesus said, but to hear him speak through his chosen voice, the one he used to tell you personally, there is simply nothing greater. There are many voices God uses to bring his word to the world. He has chosen and placed them to be a blessing to the world and his bride. When Jesus was here on earth in human flesh, he had also chosen men, his apostles, to follow him and speak for him what they had seen overbalanced and heard. These men were the ones he sent out to spread the gospel the great news that the Messiah had come. He was there on earth with them. He sent them two by two to proclaim this great news and to bring all men unto himself. As he had gathered them together one night, he asked them, 
Who do you say that I am? And they answered, Some say you are Elijah. Some say you are John the Baptist. But he said, But who do you say that I am? Then Peter spoke those great words, Thou art the Christ, the Son of the living God. Jesus answered him and said, Flesh and blood did not reveal this to you, Peter, but my Father in heaven has revealed this to you. And upon this rock, Revelation, I build my church. The world has stumbled all around at this great mystery. Some men believe he was meaning Peter. Some believe it was a rock that was laying there. Some believe it was Jesus. But by revelation given to us by the Holy Spirit, we know it was the revelation of who he was. After Jesus' death, burial, and resurrection, on the day of Pentecost, they were sent to tell the world this great news. Peter was once again chosen to be the spokesman and go before the people and proclaim how to receive his Holy Spirit. He said, you must repent and be baptized in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. What a position the Holy Spirit had placed upon Peter. We can only imagine how the people looked to him. He walked with Jesus while he was here in flesh upon the earth. He was his friend. He was by his side every day the one he had chosen to give the revelation to. But God had chosen someone else to be his prophet, Paul. When Peter came to Antioch to be with Paul, he was eating and drinking with the Gentiles. But when a group of men come there from James, he withdrew himself and feared. Paul openly rebuked him in front of the others and said he did not walk upright according to the truth and he was to blame. Brother Branham said Peter was overbalanced by the Judaizers. What does this tell us for today? It doesn't matter who it is, how much they have the Holy Ghost, what authority or calling they have. You must stay with God's chosen prophet for your absolute, for he and he alone is the divine interpreter of God's word. This is not against Peter or any of God's chosen disciples then or now. They are chosen to spread the gospel. But God had chosen one man over his church. He alone was God's chosen prophet with thus saith the Lord. Not them. They have their place. But he has one prophet to place his church in order with the final word for his bride. This shows us just how careful we must be to hear the vindicated voice of God for our day. The one he chose to be the divine interpreter of his word. There is nothing greater than hearing his voice speak through his angel, the voice of his choosing, not ours. We see throughout all the ages how God has a chosen group of people that would stay with his word, 
and his chosen messenger. That voice is proclaiming to us daily who we are, one of them. He would send reformers to his church, but this day he sent his restorer. I will restore, saith the Lord, and I will turn the hearts of the children, for I have many things to tell you in the days of my voice. You're invited to come. Listen with us to that voice. Sunday at 12 p.m. Jeffersonville time. As he speaks to us and shows us the true and false church during the Sardesian church age. 60-1209. Brother Joseph Branham. Until next time, God bless you and Shalom.